Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, welcome everybody to one of the most exciting videos that I've ever recorded on this channel here. We, we've been reacting to a lot of world record speedruns, but this one is not only one of the most highly requested ones, but it is also one of my personal favorite games of all times. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome everybody to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And I thought that this would be the first kind of like Soulsborne type games uh, from, from software type games that I was going to react to simply because... It's by the same guy who we literally watched. Passy Floor is apparently like literally a video gaming god. He he literally is the best one in the entire world because he not only has this world record, every category in this run. I'm pretty sure he holds the world record floor, but he also has the world record for also we'll get to whatever's going on here in just <laughs> just a second. Um, uh, but I actually will know a lot about this game, be able to add some meaningful uh, meaningful kind of like. I guess tips and stuff showing you guys how what like what all of this actually is what's going on uh as we go through here because i've played through this game twice now and it is literally one of the best games of all time love all the love all the dark souls games uh love demon souls and uh this game is just it, it's just right there with them with some of my favorite games of all time this is me off though about them playing boulders gate because i don't think they want to like Start a new, like, I didn't know he was talking. I didn't know he was if talking in this one. They can go fuck themselves and playing that game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well then. Um. Yeah. That's one way to get started here. It looks like. So. Oh. I. I actually. I actually think I know what was happening. So at the beginning there, he was doing that weird little jump thing so that he could actually skip the right. You're like very injured in the beginning of this game, so he was using some sort of like method to jump and move faster than you can move normally i'm surprised he picked picked up the fistful of ash i'm sure he'll use that later in the run because there's no wasted time in any of these world records especially when you're talking about passy flora who literally got the world record in ghost runner so ladies and gentlemen this is one of the uh greatest parts of the game because it is uh not even a, it's not required i won't say it's required because it's not required but um you actually die here no, like, like this, the whole, like, shadows die, die twice. Yeah, he's doing this jump to, like, move faster than you normally have to be, like, limping. Um, yeah, you actually die here. And I'm guessing because this is the world record run, he doesn't... Yeah, he just dies. <laughs> and he loses his arm, and that's how you get the prosthetic, which he's skipping all of the cutscenes for, obviously, right there. So the reason you actually have to die in this game, it, well, you don't actually have to. The crazy thing is you can actually beat that boss, but you're a one-shot kill the entire fight, and you have to play it perfectly. He has, like, two full health bars. It's literally insane, but the end result's still the same. Someone basically shoots an arrow at you or throws something at you. You have to block it, and then your arm gets cut off anyway. So even if you win, you still lose that fight. So really, it's just much, much faster to uh, to, to do that. And really, the only reason you would fight that guy is if you're going for, like, an all-bosses run of this game or if you're just literally going for, it like, a hitless run because obviously that's a hit you die. I mean, like, I know Happy Hob speedruns this game. Or not even speedruns, but no-hit runs this game. What is that jump? Oh my god, that skip was insane. So he's picking up Genshin, uh, the, uh, Genshin? G Gachin's, Gahin's sugar. I don't know how to pronounce it at all, but that stuff is, like, super buff. Like, these little different sugars and stuff are, like, the super buffs, which I'm assuming we're gonna see some really, really cool tricks of. And he just used it. He's using it now. Like, he just put it on his hotbar. He just used it. Oh, is this, this is the one that makes you, like, extra stealthy, right? And he gets the backstab on the chained ogre because of it. So here we have the uh, first non-optional boss of the game. Obviously, he is doing a glitchless run. This guy, if anybody knows, the number of times that you get flung over the back into that, like, ravine over there is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Bro, I, I, love, I love how nonchalant speedrunners are because they've done this a billion times. I remember playing those back in that took me so long the first time. I mean, it, took, it takes everyone so long the first time because you're still learning in the game. You're figuring out the mechanics and everything like that. My man, my man just absolutely destroyed it. Absolutely destroyed it. Unbelievable stuff. Is he going into Snake Valley already? Oh my God, he is. Sounds so much cooler than a game dev. No. Game dev definitely sounds way cooler than a game maker. Japan or whatever the fuck over there. I'm pretty sure they're called game makers. Bro. Oh my, okay, a little, little wall jump. Okay, so here is where he's gonna kill the snake, actually. Okay, so that hut is where you kill the, like, not kill it, but you, like, do damage. Like, I, I think it's the only way to really hurt the snake, except for when you, like, actually kill it, kill it. Bro, that is one of the coolest sequences in the entire game, and he just literally skipped the entire snake. Half of the 
Do we even get to see the snake at all? Yeah. I'm pissed. I think I <laughs> He's talking about eating pizza for one of the coolest sequences in the entire game. Oh, I can't wait for some of these boss fights, man. I don't know how many bosses are yeah, actually no like required in this game. Fuck me over so, some, some of the really coolest bosses of all time. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This boss fight is sick, dude. This boss fight is sick. Yo, boo. So the first, the first boss fight here, uh, which is, I guess, like a real, real, like named boss. I mean, That's I guess the first one technically was a real boss, but he's not really a boss. This is where the game really uh, makes you hate your life, right? Right around this point. I mean, he's gonna make it look so easy. But any one of those, okay, yeah, I was about to say any one of those hits him. That's how half of his health bar gone. Literally half of his health bar gone. I genuinely despise this game. Like... <laughs> Oh, like killed the first health bar already gone. So, so those of you guys, I, I, I know you guys uh, like so usually are fans, even if you watch the games before, of me like explaining how stuff works. And I know the people who have not watched them before, uh, it, like it's all it makes the speedrun a lot more enjoyable when you know what's happening. So, ba so essentially, I, I just realized that I'm dumb. There we go. Um, so essentially, there's two things happening here. The the first little bar right above my head, right there. That is the health bar. So you can obviously kill the boss by taking the health oh, bar down to zero, yeah. but also that big long bar is like the posture. And if you break a boss's posture by beating him up, like go, like attacking, oh my gosh, the horse like is watching you murder his owner. <laughs> that poor thing. If you break that posture by doing attacks and then blocking their attacks perfectly, repeatedly, you can actually kill them early. So one of the biggest parts about learning this game is you don't like run away from bosses you go, get in there you fight and the better you are the faster you beat literally everything it's it's actually insane it's it's one of my favorite systems about this game is what like, really makes this game stand apart you're not supposed to run away from bosses you stay in there and you have a better you, it makes the bosses easier if you're more aggressive and if you're not aggressive it makes them way harder but you're not wrong all right so this is the first like idol he's actually resting at so he's going to use these beads to increase his attack power and that's going to allow his sword to do more damage basically every time you kill a boss in this game even the optional bosses you get uh you get additional attack power is he is he using controller this is a really good controller game even if you're a pc gamer you always use a controller on this game for sure it just it feels so much better do these wall jump dude these wall jumps are clutch for him man Absolutely. Oh, oh he's, he got the uh, the Echo's Echo's Sugar. I think that's the one that does additional attack power. Oh, don't play Demon Souls. Down that. Mental hell. It's a good kind of mental hell, though. Dude, Demon Souls is it's like, like I, I just. Like... Oh, he's, so he just used it. Yeah, I mean, it is complicated to understand, but it's more expensive. Dude, Demon Souls, I just finished beating it, man. And that game is so, so difficult. It's like, it, like unbelievably it. hard. It's actually crazy. He is absolutely murdering this bull. Oh my God. Dude, again, these boss fights, I mean, even if it, like, despite the like, world record. Duty, you, know, you don't really need a big brain to play it. You don't have fast hands. Call of Duty actually takes 200 IQ in order to play. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, an IQ test before you watch the game. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> As the resident Call of Duty player, I'm gonna go cry now. Bro, I I love. I think one of my favorite things about this is not only like how fast he's killing the bosses and like, I mean these bosses literally. I mean took took me so many tries. Oh, that the suicide bomber guy is always so funny. <laughs> he comes flying in. And the number of times that I got one shot by that guy is actually That's insane. Still actually. Oh, is he already gonna fight Genichiro again? So the guy that killed you at the very, very beginning of the game, what is this movement? That is insane movement. The guy that killed you in the very, very beginning of the game, this is him. This is him right here. Now you can actually fight him. What? What is? What is this strat? My man has him stun locked. Bro! This is this is actually upsetting me. This is actually upsetting me. Oh, this is where it gets to be lightning. The way uh, Oh no, no. The, this, so this is 
this is the first time you truly experience sadness in your life is the first time you take out you finally after hours of playing this is just silly take out genichiro's second health bar and you find out he actually has a third life i mean spoilers for anybody who's about to watch this he literally has Wait. the third life right here hold on Wait, why is he why is he holding on Wait, did a new Tomb Raider just get announced? Hold on. Whoa, wait. What's going on here? So sick, dude. And he, like, completely changes up his moveset and everything. Bro, he's making this game. Like, you guys are sitting... I'm sitting here telling you guys I took an hour to do this, like, to get him down to just his third phase or his second phase, whatever. I'm, I'm out here telling y'all this, and then he, this guy's making it look like the easiest boss fight ever. Like, you just spam R1. I mean, it is one of the easier bosses in the game yeah. once you get it down. So fun. The newest one actually yeah, he's just, he's just jumping around. But that first one was so good. Look, I think look at the movement. Too, look at the right? movement. Yeah. Yeah, that, that first Tomb Raider was so good. I, I've never played a Tomb Raider that's game. Such a, like, I, oh, I, that's a lie. I've played a little bit a of one. That's a fun, like, algorithm with it. All right, let's see. So this you is know, where you talk to uh, your master here. And... <laughs> Oh, so, so he is, so, uh, oh, I don't know which one he's actually going for. I'm trying to think. Which, Are which ending? I, I, I think the, the, the best. Two of them. There's like the Tomb Raider, and then the, I know there's the Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Actually, I think there might be Rise of the Tomb Raider, too. So I think there is three. <laughs> I love, I love these speedruns when they're talking, because I, I feel like I'm just trying to have a conversation with myself. Like, it really, it really is like I'm having a conversation with myself right there. So he just used the remnant of Genichiro to get his attack power up. Yeah, Don't worry. Genichiro isn't actually dead. Don't worry. So he's going for the... I'm guessing he's going for the ending that is just killing... Like, beating the game as quickly as possible. Minus the mechs and shit. So I think... I think he's... Mechs isn't what I think... Which, which, which is the final boss and the easiest ending? I did the hardest ending. Oh, because I remember this is one of the bosses. I really liked how good the movement was. Yeah, movement. And then, so he he's just learning about the mortal the mortal well, blade so right Titanfall here. Titanfall two story is actually like really fucking good. Dude, I can't I wait for the Titanfall two speed run. Speaking of, two, right? when it was on sale. Speaking of, okay, so right now he's yeah. using an idol Check. to transport him Pretty back sure to the la the last like idol so he can fast travel. Because now he needs now he is I guess done all the talking he needs to do. He knows where he needs to go. Oh, I can't wait. This next boss, dude, uh, on the splits, Roberto. Roberto yeah, is literally one of the best the bosses like in the know. entire world, dude. Truly one of the best. You guys will see. He's he's an invincible knight. I'll, I'll, if you haven't seen him before, I'll literally leave you with that. He's a completely invincible knight that you can't yeah, do damage like to. There it is. For it. There it is. I'll, I'll, I'll leave, I'll leave you all with that. Dude, I, I guess one thing that is 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 like both good and a bad thing about glitchless is that you don't see any crazy tricks. I mean, you see like the the manipulation of the game without breaking it, like the glitchless part where you trap them in the corner. That's just using game mechanics to your advantage and prior knowledge of how the game works type thing. Um, but oh my gosh, this area is so creepy too. I love how he's just running past all the idols. That normally that's like number one thing you want in your entire war like lifetime is just to see one of those idols i feel like i do remember buying that though like, what the fuck? oh these guys too these oh, generation oh my zero, gosh the gun guys these aren't even the hard gun guys <laughs> classic speedrunner dude classic speedrunner he, he he has to sit here and wait for something, so he's just going absolutely crazy with himself right here. It's like Daisy, but with yeah, I can't see anything. Instead, zombies. It's sixty percent off. <laughs> Dude, what video games in the year in the year of our Lord two thousand twenty one? Oh, that was creepy. I don't remember what that part is. Oh, these monk guys, bro. These effing monk guys. Why do people not like it was them? another like power spike in the game when, when you when you find these monks you gotta like you gotta make sure you're ready for them 
<laughs> He's just running past all of them. And those gears. The problem is you can't just run past these guys. You literally, like, you have to be killing stuff and, like, getting different the things. The oh, the crickets are nasty. Say... You have to be, like, actually killing these guys because th the tricks he's using to kill these bosses, I mean, obviously he knows where to go. This is what, ma this is what makes, like, th these games look easy when they're really not. Oh, those guys suck, too. The little, like, du dual speared guys. The enemies of this game are just so sick, though. Little, little double jump there off the wall. Oh my god, the movement. <laughs> the movement. There might not be any glitches, but my goodness. Oh, he just leaps over that thing. I'm reading these reviews for this game, and pe the people, the things that people complaining about are, are just fucking stupid. Oh, here we go! Roberto! Yes, here he is! giant fucking robot. Notice how you can't you can do absolutely zero damage to him. His health bar is not moving. All you can do. All you can do is this. Here we go. Falcon! Punch! Dude, I don't understand how my fucking Roberto split is so fast. Roberto! <laughs> So good, dude. So good. Oh, uh, he literally says nothing the entire time until you knock him off finally after figuring out that's how you kill him. And he just yells, Robert. He's not even like leveling up his abilities or anything. Or I don't know if they auto level up whenever you get him for like killing stuff, but he's flying. He's just, he's just flying. Why do people make their profile private on Steam? It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, he's on world record pace and he's just... If it was like a profile of yourself, sure. But it's not. He's, he's literally world record pace and he's just chilling. I died so many times in this exact spot to that exact guy. Oh, does he do the Blades of... The Blades of Glory guy? The super fast spinning guy? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yo, chill, 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 chill. All right, so here we go. He's skipping a cutscene here. Oh, is this the? Oh, the monkeys are next. These guys. There's a monkey right behind him who's invisible. There he is. So you have to. So you have to kill all four of these monkeys, and you have to do like a. You have to use like a different skill to kill each one. But he used. That's so smart. He he used the the thing that makes the monkeys harder to spot you. Hold the, this is one of the weirdest bosses that it took me so long to figure out how to beat these guys and, and apparently apparently if you just use the the thing that makes you more stealthy it's like pizza you 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 I literally just win that's insane that's insane <laughs> oh f the f the monkeys man extra 15 minute wait and that it counts as like a full boss even though it's like more of a brain boss than it is like a fighting boss. Oh, dude, he's dude, skipping so many bosses. Hash browns that I would make all the time. Oh, so he finally got like a sword art type thing. I forget the name of it, but. I'm just so fucking impatient when it comes to food now. Like, I don't want to wait. <laughs> Same. Eat. Same. All right. Oh, I've been eating a fuck ton of fast food lately. Plus, we have like nothing to eat in our house. Man, man's man's literally been speed running like 30 37 games at once apparently so we have been grilling so good at, i wish i was a tenth as good at good at games as this guy is truly dude grilling a burger actually doesn't take that long at all nope and it tastes so much better too it really does it's like faster than anything you can do in the oven surprisingly. yeah yeah you just have to and turn on the heat not too much cleanup either it's great at they most, can't hear me. <laughs> your burger is gonna sit in there for like 10 minutes. I'd rather cook a burger for 10 minutes than sit and wait for my pizza to cook for 15 minutes. All right, that's five in plus. Man's got a point. Oh wait, does the snake show up in this area? Thank God, like. In I, I I don't know which ending he's going. That's the one thing I don't okay, remember is all the requirements for the different like endings. Like, Cause some of them are a lot harder than others. Like a lot harder. And you fight different bosses at the end compared to which ending you go for. You basically choose whether to... Oh my gosh, that leap. 
And then when you get some bub of veggie, uh, <laughs> veggie burgers. It's just laying him behind that dude. Oh, these guys, the gun people. I like it how most of us. Oh my gosh, dude, this, this sugar, I should have been using in my run so much more. This sugar is, is like literally the biggest difference, difference maker ever. Though these guys clapped me over and over and over. I just love meat too much. Like the, the monkeys took me a little bit to figure out, but once I figured it out, you know, you're good. You're good type thing. These guys just clapped me. He's, not, he's literally not even gonna even worry about any of them. Oh, he got hit by one. You, you know he's gotta be sweating a little bit from that. And then the shotgun ones. Oh my God. Does that make sense? Yeah. So he puts on his the that's healing so gourd for the first time. Like that. That's the first time he's healed so far. Yes, he is fighting snake hands or scissor hands. Wait, oh my god, he just whipped out that sword out like crazy. <laughs> this guy was so hard to fight. I mean, okay, I, 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 I'm, they're all difficult. This is one of the e easiest bosses in the game. Cause you just have to learn how to parry. You have to, you have to parry, but he's, he's really not that hard of a boss, but still they, I, you still die to him a few times. Wait, is it? Oh, this is where a snake is. Or the snake, right? There he is. We finally saw him. Oh, <laughs> there's the snake. He's going to rest at the idol. So he's gonna refill his healing and uh oh wait he didn't heal wait does he have to come back to this location he rest he he like activated it but he didn't rest at it so he didn't heal or anything like that oh this is where all the monkey people are oh my gosh that jump was that all the way down into the sunken city Act way too big of a snap literally incredible like actually incredible. Oh, and then he's right next to the snake. The the snake. This is the oh, snake's yeah. sleeping place right here. Go fight that excuse of a boss. Jeez, man. Talking about a. Uh... Oh, the snake's awake. Hey! Oh my god. I okay. He's definitely not doing the base ending. I don't think anyway. Grave ward. And no. maybe one of the other. No, it's it's. So oh, it's great. the I know the. That. They're talking about the curse rotted grave gra great wood. Grapefruit. <laughs> Curse rotted great wood. Yeah. That's, That's what it. it is. Yeah. Damn, so I was wrong. Yes, you were. <laughs> Wait, oh yeah, you have to kill this guy. Yeah, I remember you have to kill this guy. Jeez, man, that thing is so sick. Hey, they look kind of the same, all right? Wait. Dude, what? This is like, he, it looks when easy. It really does. RNG on Snake Eyes? Like when I honestly don't think I ever have. Apparently that was really good RNG somehow. <gasps> Wait. I don't think I have monkey. Oh, this, okay. So if okay, so the the ape hasn't shown up yet. It looks like he's 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 coming up on the ape, but the ape when you after you kill him the first time he actually respawns and he brings his ape wife along. You you'll see what I mean. I actually I don't think he'll fight him because it's an optional boss, but you'll see what I mean. I mean, oh, the roosters, dude. F the roosters. Saint, but like, once you know how to fight him, he's not that hard. Dude, you need to fight Demon. That's, oh my god, I still have not beaten that boss, have I? Bro, this entire area was so boss. confusing. I think it's the only boss in that game I have. No. Oh, snap scene. I haven't done the second owl fight and Demon. <laughs> demon has a huge learning curve to him, but once you, like, have his move set down, he is such a fun boss. Yeah, oh, that was, that was a cool. The most... That was a cool jump there. Yeah. Oh, this guy. Oh my God. These, this boss was the, I mean, like, it's not then, it's I mean, essentially a boss. I was never like scared. Kind of is. Hard. I but, was scared to do the second owl fight because everyone says like, that's like the hardest fight. Owl father game. gave me hell. Yeah. People say like, that's owl father. really like the hardest. Yeah. And this, I, okay. I think everyone's so, experienced. Like, like, they're talking about another boss in this game. I think the hardest boss in this game for me at the time 
was the late the lady death strike looking lady i forgot her name but she has the daggers and everything like that if you guys have played the game you know that was definitely the hardest for me because i was so under leveled for her. i was so under leveled for her. i love all the, these enemies just like desperately running past like trying to get to them <laughs> Only <laughs> strength build I genuinely really liked doing in Dark Souls was Great Axe. That thing was fucking nuts. Never, never, never that done that. First weapon I used. I remember that thing yeah. is a lot of fun. Dude, Dark Souls is so fun. I, I let me know in the comments if y'all want me to do Dark Souls speedruns reactions, because that I'm sure there, there's those are like this. It's except like, a lot like more boss like, fights <laughs> are like one of the most oh this games. guy <gasps> done them so much like, <laughs> i want to explore all the other cool goddamn like crazy shit that the game has to offer. what i kind of oh, want to start doing some are you got that's why you picked up the fistful of ash he literally did a bunch of damage with a snap seed making him lose track of him and then he kept pegging him with fistful of ash and he actually lost track of him and he did an assassination on a boss you can't assassinate that is wild dude that is actually wild oh my god Alrighty then time to lose my run to ape rng ape rng poggers dude that is crazy with he's talking about how good this run is going He's only 0. 0.5 Actually, yeah, seconds can behind. Can play a DK rep just for good ape look? DK, oh, please tell me. Please tell me he's playing Donkey Kong 64. Please tell me he's playing Donkey Kong yeah, 64. Please. Give it, give it, give it go. Wait, is he going to sing it or is he going to play it? Link tells me I don't have Dylan turned up. it will be very unfortunate. Okay. Oh, oh I, I hear it. <laughs> it is dude this these guys are great dude this 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 is the dk the dk rap from uh oh here he is let's go one of the most notorious bosses in this entire game first member of the dk crew one of the most notorious bosses in this entire game let's see let's see how he does Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh yeah. So so notice how the the notice how the 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 ape's head is removed. Everybody, notice how it's removed. I guess I already kind of spoiled it earlier, but I mean everybody knows this at this point. Everybody knows this at this point. He just he just says F it and gets back up and uses his own head as a weapon. Oh my gosh. I'm guessing that he's getting I I don't know how it's good RNG, but he's getting good RNG on this guy somehow. So many tries, man. So many tries to beat this guy. I hate I hate speedruns. Especially for games like this. Now get that little wormy out. Yeah, there you go. Get that eternal worm. And it just makes me mad. Honestly, I I thought I was gonna be excited for this, but now I'm just regretting it. I'm literally just regretting it now. Lotus. Wait, is this? He's doing like the hardest ending. I'm pretty sure. Is is he doing? I think he's doing the hardest ending. Do the Donkey Kong rap work? Speed run and third. Yeah, he's doing the hardest ending. All of those parts you need to collect. Because you're doing the one where you... Yeah. You're the solo? What the fuck? He's the first member of the DK crew. Who? Alright. Here we go. This is officially... I think he's doing the hardest. I, I might be wrong on that. Oh, this is where the, the people... Oh, this is where the red dudes invade. And everything changes because the red dudes are here now. <laughs> Part of me doesn't think it did. That, that, that fish almost ruined this man's run. That fish almost ruined this man's entire run right there. He's 0.4 seconds ahead of schedule. Do you realize how precise 
your movement has to be to to just not lose 0.4 seconds literally of a single miss jump and he is now no longer has the world record that's how perfected this speed run has become oh, it did not come out in this century so i was right oh okay no no he's he's not doing he's not doing the the Wait, ending he's not doing the ending i i thought he was i thought it, no he is so never mind yeah okay okay i was confused so he has to fight emma and then he has to fight ishin okay i see i see i see i see like the 20 the 20th century started in 1999 Dude, it's crazy. Look at the health bar, but look at the posture. This is what happens when you're aggressive. Hey, GG, Zimma. GG, Zimma. Great fight, great fight. Just kidding, it's a two-phase one, except the second phase isn't Emma again. The second phase is literally Papa. Here he is. Yeah, okay, yeah. So he's doing the sure ending, which is basically you kill everything. I could I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember if you still need to collect all those parts if you're doing the good ending. Donkey, or the best ending. Oh. The true ending, whatever you want to call it. Donkey, donkey, but yeah, he's oh. doing the sure ending, which is basically you forsake I just realized your master and kill everybody. Because... And you turn into like this big big baddie. Oh my god, that damage! Yeah. Dude, he, stop talking. He's about to break, break the world record. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. I think that's it. Oh my fucking god. Please tell me that's it. Did you get world record? I don't know yet. I think so. Oh yeah. Fat record, holy fuck, let's go. <laughs> okay, it, the it could have been- The DK rap worked. Wow. It could have shaved a second off of that if the cutscene actually skipped, but hey. The world record by six seconds. Let's fucking That's go. insane, dude. Never playing this shit category again. Fuck this category. It's dog shit. <laughs> and the video ends. And the video ends. That's hilarious, dude. That's actually hilarious. I can't, dude. He, he he's so good at the game he's so good at video games that even when he runs Sekiro shadows die die twice glitchless in 30 minutes he is still pissed that's unbelievable that's truly he started a man who literally had to jump to gain any speed to, to killing like the hardest bosses in the game in like 10 seconds like within 30 minutes the come up is absolutely real ladies and gentlemen boys and girls I hope you have enjoyed this speedrun reaction. If you have, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you want me to react to next because I'm here to react for uh, all the good stuff, all the entertaining stuff. So if you if you have an idea in mind, let me know. Link down below in the description. And uh, make sure you all check the runner out because this was absolutely nuts and it's not the second one <laughs> that we've reacted to. So I will see you guys in the next stream. Goodbye, everybody. Video, whatever. Bye-bye.